hello friends hope you're all okay you're all enjoying your life and also enjoying watching my videos welcome back to dr arshid nadeem awan ultrasound teaching videos today my topic of discussion is portal hypertension portal hypertension is uh, defined as corrective sinusoidal pressure difference between hepatic vein and ivc more than 8 mm hydrogerium the normal pressure should have been 4 to 8 mm hydrogerium if it increases more than 8 mm hg that would be considered as portal hypertension there are multiple causes for the portal hypertension and it is divided into three categories the one is prehepatic cause prehepatic cause uh, may be uh, because of the portal thrombosis if there is portal vein thrombosis this may leads to portal hypertension Hepatic cause, it uh, could be uh, hepatic vein thrombosis, hepatic vein occlusion. Uh, hepatic cause may include uh, cirrhotic cases. So if there is cirrhosis, so that would be the cause for the portal hypertension. And the post-hepatic cause is Bhatkiari syndrome. So these are three categories. The pre-hepatic cause, which include portal, uh, uh, portal vein thrombosis, uh, hepatic cause, cirrhosis and post hepatic cause that could be but chiari syndrome so these are the three main reasons for the portal hypertension as far as radiological features of the portal hypertension is concerned the ultrasound is the topmost on the ultrasound you can pick certain abnormalities like there will be ascites there will also be dilated mesenteric vein there will be enlarged portal vein portosystemic uh, shunt and also splenomegaly. So these are the features on the ultrasound which will indicate that there is portal hypertension. On the ultrasound, on, on the CT scan, so um, for the pre and post uh, CT scan can depict the patency of the portal vein. As far as uh, other features are concerned, it will show extra hepatic changes like portosystemic shunt and uh, um, edema of the small bowel wall or gastric wall. So this will uh, be appearing on the CT scan imaging. As far as for the palliating hyper uh, portal hypertension, uh, tips can be used. That is transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic stent shunt can be used for the palliating uh, uh, portal hypertension. So how this will appear on the ultrasound imaging? How we will appreciate that this is portal hypertension? Uh, how we'll appreciate this on the CT images. So let's start watching these uh, ultrasound imaging and CT imaging and you will be able to pick the portal hypertension. Portal venous hypertension can be caused by either prehepatic or hepatic or post-hepatic reasons. So far this slide is concerned it's a trans-abdominal scan and on this trans-abdominal scan you can appreciate dilated portal vein. Dilated portal vein should have been more than 15 millimeter. However, if you look to this slide, you can appreciate that there is dilated portal vein. Dilated portal vein is the reason of portal hypertension and it is pre-hepatic cause. Sometimes there will be no reason for the dilatation because it may be idiopathic and it's likely to occur. Here on this slide, this is a transabdominal scan. No other findings can be seen. Hepatic vein is although it is dilated but so far its intraluminal condition is concerned it's quite clear there is no intraluminal thrombosis or there is no intraluminal mass. So this is what example of portal hypertension. It's the early example early symptom of the portal hypertension because the portal vein is dilated and there is no other sign on this uh, particular uh, ultrasound slide. This is another transabdominal slide explaining prehepatic reason and that is portal vein thrombosis. Portal vein is dilated, it's, uh, it's more than 15 mm and its lumen shows intramural thrombosis. You can appreciate ecogenic thrombus within the lumen. This is portal vein thrombosis and this is where the portal hypertension uh, begins. So whenever you are scanning the patient, always look for the portal vein. Most of the time we ignore that part. We just look for the surrounding and we pick all the information regarding the liver parenchyma. We, we all together ignore portal vein. Portal vein is very important. Here in this image, this is the prehepatic cause of the portal hypertension and clearly 
uh, visible thrombus you can appreciate here this transabdominal scan uh, explains a post hepatic reason and that is uh, maybe a but chiari syndrome in but chiari syndrome you know there is dilatation of the portal vein and in this portal vein sometime there are three degrees ivc would be dilated small or major uh, intra uh, hepatic veins may also be dilated so there are mainly three categories of bed chiari syndrome you have to look for all these three and these are the post hepatic cause for the portal hypertension whenever you come across uh, with bed chiari syndrome or there is congestive heart failure which you can uh, pick the point uh, by dilatation of the intravasculature of the hepatic uh, region uh, so it will explain you whether it is uh, congestive heart failure or it is but chiari syndrome uh, look for this slide on this slide there is dilatations of the vasculatures at porta hepatis level so this is what we can call it canalizations or we can call it a porto systemic ven venous collateral so this is the cause of the portal venous hypertension this is transabdominal scan and here you can appreciate Doppler signal which is indicating that the main portal vein mean peak velocity is less than 10 cm per square so its mean it is also indication that the portal vein is dilated and it is portal vein hypertension. The another point you can appreciate on this slide is there is SIDs. Look for the superior border of the liver there is SIT also visible so these are the points uh, in the letter as I mentioned that in portal venous hypertension they will be dilated portal vein they will be uh, porto uh, hepatic uh, or porto systemic venous collaterals there will be SITs they will be splenomegaly there may be recanalization of para umbilical vein so these are all the points it is not necessary that you will find all these uh, uh, points at once there might be somewhere you will come across with dilated portal vein only sometime you may cross with a, uh, a portal vein thrombosis but once there is portal vein thrombosis there is likely possibility there will be ascites and also look for the spleen there might be splenomegaly and also focus on the splenic vein splenic vein will also be dilated and there's also chance of developing uh, collaterals in a pair of splenic collaterals which uh, usually occurs in later stage now this slide beautifully explains the hepatic reasons for the portal hypertension and one of the major reason for the portal hypertension and especially hepatic reason is liver cirrhosis here you can appreciate well-defined liver with a coarse parenchyma it is small in size it is shrunken with irregular wall with irregular outline that is because of regenerations of the nodule small nodular and beside this intravasculature is also dilated so this is what the major cause for the portal hypertension and this would be the hepatic cause so whenever there is portal uh, venous hypertension must look for the prehepatic cause post hepatic cause which i explain already that whether the portal vein is dilated whether there is thrombus in the portal vein whether there is in large spleen or there is collateral development and also focus whether there is liver cirrhosis what degree of the cirrhosis is and then the third thing is look for the ascites whether there is some hemodynamically unstable patient if there is increased ascites mild to moderate or severe ascites look for all these information and this information will explain you how to manage this portal venous hypertension because you have to uh, rule out the main reason and then you have to remove the main cause so when you remove the cause you can correct to some extent portal venous hypertension now the next very important and simple point is which you can easily pick on the ultrasonography and that is enlarged spleen whenever there is enlarged spleen so it indicate that there might be a chance of portal hypertension it is not necessary that only the spleen enlargement will explain portal hypertension there must be some other points related like there may be enlarged splenic vein or there may be enlarged uh, portal vein or there may be thrombosis so keeping in view the other sign and symptoms you then label that this might be a portal venous hypertension but on the basis of only splenomegaly because splenomegaly may occur because of certain reason because of inflammations because of infective processes because of myeloproliferative changes so there are a big differentials for the enlarged spleen so 
when you when you are looking for the portal venous hypertension you must have to look for the other causes as well Be beside these other causes you can label the case as a portal venous hypertension this is a slide for uh, the uh, recanalization and this is a slide for the porto systemic collateral development uh, in other words you can call it dilated uh, splenic vein and development of the collateral it's a simple word you can appreciate you can write on your report here this vasculature shows increased uh, vascularity on the doppler signals spleen in the background spleen is also enlarged splenic vein is also enlarged collateral development can easily be picked on the uh, sim on the gray scale and on doppler as well on the gray scale you will appreciate multiple tortuously dilated uh, structures at the level of hilum of the spleen and if you put the Doppler signals on these uh, cystic lesions and cystic structures you will see it will be filled with blood so it will indicate that these are collateral developments uh, developmental of uh, collateral that is because of portal venous hypertension so if there is enlarged spleen and uh, development of uh, parasplenic collateral so this is a cause of portal hypertension here uh, this is another slide for your uh, uh, understanding here again portal uh, uh, this is splenic uh, varices it's also called a splenic varices splenic collateral development and in this view on the right side you can appreciate that portal uh, uh, splenic vein has a thrombus in it so this is an extensive case and this is also leading to portal hypertension so portal venous hypertension could be due to this reason as well but anyway you can use both words whether uh, parasplenic varices varices mean that dilated uh, venous channels or development of collaterals so these are the same word you can use that here this case show parasplenic varices collateral development and this is a case of portal hypertension uh, one another point which i have clarified here you can appreciate thrombosis of the uh, splenic vein as well so this is a case of portal venous hypertension ct scan is one another useful radiological uh, tool to help you out for the portal venous hypertension and also it may uh, sometime exclude out the cause as well so like on this ct image this is uh, abdominal ct this is non contrast enhanced ct on this axial image you can appreciate liver which shows slightly uh, i mean it's slightly shrunken as far as the portal vein is concerned you can appreciate the portal vein thrombus vein it, within it uh, ascites well developed ascites you can appreciate all around the abdominal cavity in the view you can appreciate that the spleen is also enlarged and in some of the area you can appreciate slightly collateral development at the hilum of the hepatic region so this is a case of portal hypertension our portal hypertension can easily be picked on the CT axial image or coronal image. Sometime, uh, if there is some doubt, you can also use contrast enhanced CT by the use of contrast agent. There will be filling defect within the portal vein. So that can, can be easily picked on the contrast enhanced CT because the portal vein would not be properly opacified which indicate that there is something blockage within it and you can easily pick the portal venous hypertension reasons there to explain you further this is another ct image and on this ct image this is abdominal ct axial slice at the level of the liver uh, here and you can appreciate all the organ liver is small shrunken cirrhotic liver is there and uh, there is marginal irregularity of the liver can be shown so with this you can appreciate that there is thrombus and uh, within the portal vein uh, this is the second question uh, uh, second findings the third is there is enlarged spleen so splenomegaly is also there shrunken liver is there and ascites fluid can easily be seen throughout the abdomen like it's moderate to severe ascites can be seen so this is another uh, uh, abdominal ct scan which can appreciate which can show you that this is uh, portal venous hypertension and all the points you can pick including the cirrhotic liver have a look to this ct this is a coronal image of the abdomen and on this abdomen coronal ct this is non contrast ct liver can be easily picked uh, spleen megaly can also be shown 
there is collateral development can also is also visible para umbilical recanalization can also be seen and a small amount of fluid you can appreciate on the superior border of the liver so it indicating that there is small ascites as well so these are the points indicating that there is portal venous hypertension and portal venous hypertension is because of these three reasons so either there may be a prehepatic reason portal venous thrombus look for the thrombus and if there is cirrhosis or there is blood chiari syndrome or there is congestive heart failure these all explains you and it will give you a direction towards your diagnosis so pick all these points and on these in information you can appreciate the portal venous hypertension mri and other dsa scan can also be used uh, but uh, so far the accuracy of the ultrasound and ct is concerned it is um, um, it's 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 the topmost and it's i would say second to none yes guys this was all about the portal hypertension and i'm sure there will be no doubt left uh, diagnosing portal hypertension as you know that uh, what are the features of the ultrasound imaging you can easily pick the splenomegaly and the portal vein dilatations and the portal systemic shunt and uh, mesenteric enlarged vein so it can be easily picked on the ultrasonography on the ct scan it will also show you the extra hepatic uh, presentation small bowel uh, wall thickening gastric wall thickening portal systemic shunt all these can be visible on the ct scan belong beside the cites so these are all the information which has been given to you on this uh, video uh, and these images as well so with some other new information we'll see each other till then take great care of yourself bye bye